it's everyone's looking for success, right? They all think that, well, we collectively think that if we have a nice fancy car, if we have a big house, we're going to be considered successful. And therefore, the the ideology is that, you know, happiness comes from, from that success. However, you can ask a lot of, of financially successful people whether that's true. And unfortunately, you know, even those who win the lotto, it isn't necessarily true that the happiness check doesn't come in the mail just because you've achieved financial wealth. Uh, the illusion still stands. However, what I would say is that if you asked people, would they rather, would they want a million dollars or would they want to have peace, joy, happiness in every single moment of their experience. Uh, <laughs> you know, those kinds of uh, emotional responses to life are what people search for. That, that's why we do so much personal development is because we believe that if, if we could um, have that level of happiness within ourselves, the outside situation, the outside experience of ourselves wouldn't necessarily matter. There's a lot of gurus out there that have achieved that kind of momental, momentous experience of, of the now and they're in bliss every single second and they, they, they don't care whether they're a millionaire. That level of success is 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 priceless it cannot be it, it cannot be bored right love can't be bored um and and yet as we've all tried to accomplish it and we go on this journey of of trying to experience more bliss and more happiness in every single moment of our experience we're we're realizing that it takes a little bit of work because there's a lot of programming in there there's a lot of language in there. So the invitation is, is to learn a new language. If everybody was speaking French um, when you were born, that's the language you learned. And as a collective, the human consciousness has learned a language of lack. It is constantly looking outside of itself saying, oh, well, I don't have that, I must be worthless. Oh, I don't have that. I must be not enough. I don't have that outside of myself. So therefore I'm not love, lovable, blah, blah, blah. And it's that, it's that invitation to recognize that those people who have happiness, not just financial wealth, obviously it's really fun and, exp and wonderful to have both. Um, because you know, we can share, share more of it out in the world, but but ultimately have that priceless gift within ourselves to enjoy every single possible second of our experience in bliss and joy. Um, and to, to notice those uh, mentors, teachers, coaches that are out there in the world that are experiencing that level of success. And how are they doing it? And they're doing it through their thought processes. They're untangling the meaning that they have attached to particular thoughts or situations and witnessing every single thing as beautiful as as what it is accepting every single part of it uh, that's a very zen experience and and learning what language they're speaking so if if everyone in your world the programming that you got the language that you learned was lack it was a lack language it, it, it's the invitation to to see those who are speaking a different language and learn that language go out and and ask people what language are they speaking in in their world it's um you you know you're not at fault for learning french that was just the only language that people were learning right um and i have no judgment upon french or english or spanish german whatever it's that I, the acknowledgement that it wasn't your fault, it was just the language that you learned, the, the lack language, and you want to learn, you have the inspiration, the desire to learn a different language of success. What, what is the language that they, uh, the, the people that have this, this experience of blissful life, 
what are they what language are they speaking and they're usually speaking wow I love that wow I love that wow you know my car broke down oh I love that I love that opportunity to be able to ask and invite others to help me oh my and computer crashed oh, how how interesting it, it's now an opportunity to reorganize my my new laptop and and have a new infrastructure and and um, and, and have excitement with with that new opportunity um, maybe you have um, an argument with your your family member and if you can love that love the opportunity to to navigate their thought processes, your thought processes, all the meaning and the entanglement of meaning and suffering that you've attached to that particular, that conversation. It's an opportunity to grow. It's an opportunity to expand. It's, it, it's, it's an invitation to be more in the present moment, to, to, to learn how to be in this conversation with yourself with more love and um, and that's really how, how you can invite more success into your world because then everything that happens externally to yourself it just it is what it is and the more that we do that as individuals we then invite others to learn a new language um, you know if somebody's speaking the lack language with you it's an opportunity to be witness to love that and then perhaps try and communicate with them with a new language of, of love and compassion and joy because not because you want to force your language onto them, but it is your opportunity to see if you have any triggers or any situations where you've attached meaning to whatever they're saying. And it's your opportunity to go within yourself and say, wow, uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to have any meaning attached to, to whatever they said. It's, an opportunity to grow and expand within yourself to have more love more bliss more joy and uh, be more in the present moment and that's that's true success yeah as the as you become more and more of that then we invite others and, and we, then the hundredth monkey syndrome happens and more and more the level of consciousness that is raised on the planet and we have we have a, a, a happier, uh, different language to speak with one another and in, be in less suffering, but in more peace and more joy. And that's a, a beautiful place to be. I look, I look forward to it.